What is up, YouTube? So the Suicide Squad trailer just dropped. And to be honest, I'll give credit where credit is due. It's beyond awesome, and it looks like it will actually work. Because I was like, why are they making a Suicide Squad trailer film? Because that's really weird, and no one knows what the hell it is. One thing as well, I was a bit of a hater of Jared Leto, Joker, despite loving him as an actor and musician, as a makeup, well, just looked stupid in OTT, and looked like some teenager had done it trying to look really cool and edgy. Well, he's nailed it. Starting off, we get introduced to the squad once more, just like the other trailer, and it's showing each of them in their cells, and it does show a lot about their characters. Captain Boomerang looks like he does in the comics, and Jai Courtney is channeling Tom Hardy as Bronson, which makes me think that maybe Tom Hardy should have stuck around and played that character, because he would have been really, really good at it as well. Next up in Blackgate Prison, we have... Harley Quinn, who's looking typically kooky, and is reading a really, really raunchy uh, romantic novel and drinking tea in her slippers. So far, so good. We see Deadshot here, who is clearly played by one of the highest profile actors in the film, Will Smith, and he's looking pretty upset because really he's not as unhinged and crazy as the rest of the team, so why is he actually there? It looks like he's been crying, so maybe something has happened to his daughter, and that's pretty much force his hand to be in this team. That's why he's so angry throughout the trailer. We can expect some friction there. Killer Croc's cell is, well, just water. It's because he's, he's a crocodile, so he needs water to live. Which is, well, obviously. <laughs> and he's working out, so he's going to stay strong. The cell kind of reminds me of Arkham Asylum, the game a bit, where he's, it's really dark and dingy, so there's raw meat everywhere as well, so that's pretty cool. El Diablo is up next using his powers. There's not much to say here other than that his tattoos are freaking cool. And, well, he's got fire powers. Which, later on in the trailer we see, and they are freaking sweet. Quick shot here again, similar to the last trailer where Amanda Waller is setting up the team and really just setting out that they are awful, awful people. So the team are currently in Blackgate Prison, and, well... We see them neutralised by throwing water on the fire guy and just generally bring them into the boot camp because they may have freedom to do what they want because, well, they've got superpowers, but we're showing that we really do know who is in charge here. Harley Quinn's signature accent is gone, which is absolutely gutting because it really is what made her her in the games and the cartoons. However, this new accent that Margot Robbie's using is actually pretty cool. And her monologue where she talks about the voices in the head really does nail the character and really does show that she's done her research. We've got Enchantress popping up pre kind of possession from the the witch thing that's got her. So it's continuing on the theme which we're gonna see later on of origin stories. The team is dispatched to take on a weird alien threat thing, there's, there's goo everywhere, and well, over the shot we see the helicopters flying in somewhere which I think looks a lot like Gotham City because the Joker's there, but I don't think there's any confirmation of that just yet. Easily the most interesting part of the trailer is the Joker, of course, because well, it's the Joker and everyone loves him. So we see him essentially be just generally crazy. See him jump into some chemicals, which could be his origin story. And we also, just like the comics, we see Harley Quinn's origin story, where they're in a vat of chemical things. And there's a there's a snapshot you can see of her pre-Harley Quinn, where she's in his, I think it's a Ferrari or Lamborghini that he's driving. So that could have a clue there as well. What's weird as well, is he taking on the aliens, or is he the one who caused these weird goo things to come out because he's clearly fighting against someone and we don't know who it is. His costume changes are awesome, we've got an Alex Ross style one there with the black tux where he's firing a minigun and we've got the shot of him, I think it was on Empire Magazine where he's got the weird leather jacket thing which is typically wacky and kooky because well it, it's, it's him isn't it. Weirdly missing from the trailer we have Common who has been on set with tattoos because he's playing the tattooed man this could be him under the this could be him on the underground uh, kind of saving the day 
So we're not too sure because he's not actually in the film. We've got Katana as well. Uh, seemingly not doing that much. There's just one little shot of her. We've got the Enchantress in the White House as well, which is interesting. She's urging them to do something. How is she there? Well, she's magic, so that's probably why she's there. But anyway, I think the trailer looks good. I think they're going to nail it. The Wonder Woman footage looks brilliant. It's a real throw out the left field that they're going to do a period drama on her. So we could be in for a treat with DC Comics here with their movies. But anyway, any questions, hit the comments, hit the like and subscribe below, and I'll see you soon.